Hey there, it's Tara from Raw Food Living, and behind me I've got my tiny home, you can see back here, that I have lived in since about March of this year. A lot has changed since I first moved in and used a banana box as my computer table. So this is an update of all the changes that have happened so far in my tiny home. I have gone from living here by myself with my dog to having my boyfriend move in, and it is a completely different dynamic living with someone else in the tiny home. So come along and see what it's like, see what changes I have made since I moved in. This is my tiny home in the south of Sweden. It is 30 square meters, or for those of you who live in North America, about 330 square feet. The kitchen is only one square meter. It's a really compact house in a bachelor style, meaning that it is completely open. There are no closed rooms except for the bathroom. That is the only one that's closed. I love this open concept because it makes it feel a lot bigger, especially in a small space like this. So we will start the tour in the kitchen. There's not a lot to see, but one thing that saves a lot of space is hanging things on the wall, hanging the cutting board and the cutlery. Also putting some things up on the shelf above, really helpful to have storage like this in a tiny kitchen. Next, I've got all of my spices on the windowsill. Might not be the best place to put them because of the light, but for now that's where they are. I've got pots and pans hanging, a strainer, and then the cutlery like I said. I've got a box with tea hanging on the wall, and right beside our pantry, I've got this shelf for food because the pantry doesn't quite hold all of our food items. So I've just got some fresh vegetables, dried fruit, nuts, and also some bread there. I'm going to have a specific pantry tour video so you can see exactly what we have in our pantry as vegans, me being a raw vegan and my partner being just a regular vegan. We also store some of our food like oat milk and beans uh, for our dog, specifically those beans um, on the table out here just because we don't have space for them anywhere else. Uh, so this table is kind of multi-purpose and it's a bit of an extension from the kitchen as well. Then we have our bathroom and the only upgrades I've made in here uh, is how I organize things on the shelf. And then we've got this beautiful view out the window. It's going to show you it's so nice out today, beautiful day. And then the other improvements we've made is having a shower curtain. This is huge because water splattered all over the floor. The next DIY project we have is our shower head, which is taped, but we'll fix that later. <laughs> then outside of the bathroom is our wardrobe. There's some space saving stuff in there, which I will show you in another video. Then I've included this freezer. This is another update. It is full of bananas. You saw in the last video, I have tons of bananas. They're now all frozen in the freezer. And what I've got on top of the freezer is about 20 packages of dates because I love using dates in all my recipes, my smoothies in the morning. These are the best dates to find in Europe. And then I have our kettle, a toaster, and I got a new blender which uh, kind of suffered a fatality. You can see the bottom of the plastic jug is kind of sheared off. I burned it on the stove plate, <laughs> but it is a much better blender so at least I have that. Then I have the dresser, which is the same as you saw before. Beside the dresser, I moved the coat hook over to the left of the dresser. It used to be to the right, uh, but this was just better for space saving as well. And then below that, we've got a drone in a backpack and some of my yoga equipment, like my yoga blocks and my yoga mat. Then there is the bed, which is one of the biggest improvements that we've made. Because it is a queen size bed, but it folds up into a couch, which for having a space like this, it is really nice to be able to have both a couch and a bed without having to have them separate. So it's a futon, but it is really comfortable to sleep on. It's very firm, you just fold it up and then slide it down into a couch. It's super simple, it takes only a couple minutes and it saves so much space. We also have storage under the bed, which is another huge space saver. Then we upgraded the table beside the bed, which if you saw the last video, you will have noticed it was just a chair before. Uh, so we got a unit to store some more things. And on top of the table is a television screen, which is attached to an adjustable arm. You can extend this out about two feet and we can turn it around so that we can watch movies or series, anything we want while we're sitting on the couch. This is a huge space saver as well because we don't have to have a TV on a table. Then above the TV, I've also installed a little lamp, a little light. We have a lot of natural light in this home, but it's still nice to have light for when it gets dark, which gets dark very, very early at about 3.30 p.m. in Sweden, so that light helps a lot. And there's also another lamp on the next new upgrade, which is a desk. 
This used to be a couch. We got rid of the couch and got this amazing desk. My boyfriend works from home on his computer, so it's essential for him to have his multiple computer screens and his whole computer station. But the coolest thing about this desk is that it rises up. It's electric, so we can stand at the desk. We're gonna get a little step machine so we can step at the desk for when it's cold outside. It is just a really cool feature to go from standing to sitting. Then I've also got my own little computer area here, which I don't need a lot of space, so I don't take up much space on the desk. He definitely takes up more, but he needs it for his work, so it makes complete sense. Then I've got this little basket, and this is all of the products that I'm sent with companies I'm partnered with. I've got this leaf leather from Tree Tribe, which is amazing, and the powders from Hybrid Herbs. And then I've also got this Lava Love CBD oil, and some gift certificates from Fruge. These are all companies I'm partnered with uh, that I love that I have to get around to making videos on these products. The next thing that I really, really love having in our tiny home is this whiteboard. It's green, but I can write on it in markers and then wipe it off afterwards. It saves a ton of paper and it helps me stay organized, knowing what I need to do for the day and what videos I need to film. So this is a really cool thing. You can see I've got my list of videos. It's just, it's really nice, way more environmentally friendly than using all the paper I was using before to write all my little notes on. Then there is Pepsi sleeping on his dog bed. This dog bed really helps keep the dog fur in other places down to a minimum because he, he sheds so much. So luckily most of it stays on his bed and doesn't go in other places. Then we've got a shoe mat as well, which is kind of disorganized right now, but it's really essential because it can get dirty really quickly coming in from the outdoors in the winter in a tiny home. The last upgrade we've made is having an antenna for our internet. Uh, we have to put it on the window. It's not that pretty, uh, but it really helps with our internet connection. There is a view outside. And this concludes the tour and the updates of our tiny home. If you have any other videos you wanna see about our tiny home, let us know in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and thanks so much for watching.